everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how you can replace a hard drive with a solid state drive in this HP Elite Book. So we're replacing the hard drive in this HP Elite Book with a newer solid state drive. So we got to flip this thing over and the first thing that we got to do is remove the battery. So using the clip on the left side that unlocks it and then pressing it and holding it over will then be able to slide the battery out. The next thing we want to do is unlock the latch here for this back panel. So if we slide it over to the right, that pops it out so you can see it came out a little bit and then we just take it off the rest of the way. Now we can see the hard drive right here and that's what we want to take out and replace. So there's three screws, there's one here, here and over here. And we can slide this out and lift it up. Actually, that wasn't even correct, was it? Or was it? It was. So obviously, whoever put this together, this hard drive is supposed to come up with this and this is supposed to be attached with the four screws here. But this is the first time I'm opening it. We needed these three screws to be able to slide this out and lift it up and this should have been attached. So now it's already unattached so I don't need to remove the four screws in this case but normally you would have the four screws, one, two, three and four, which we're gonna need to put the new one in place. Okay, I got some screws that'll work, and so we'll just put this in where we can line up the four holes. And then I just put in a screw into each one of these four spots. So now that we got the four screws in there to hold that in place, now we can simply put the drive into the slot and then slide it over to the right so the connector so the connectors are in place and now we can put in these other three screws here one two and three so that's in tight so now we're ready to put the panel back on so we just place that down so it's almost fully closed but it won't snap in place unless we Hold that over to the right, then we can push it up and then let go and it snaps in. Next, we can put the battery. It slides and snaps in. And then we want to lock both of these because there's a little bit of red exposed showing that it's unlocked. So we push the case cover lock and the battery lock. And that's basically it. Now you can turn it over boot it up and once you got the hard drive replaced you just need to use some kind of bootable media to install your operating system on it and if you found this video helpful please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one bye for now